God, and yet turn to a brother and say, I hate my brother or sister in Christ. John says the test of love demonstrates that we to God the love that we have for others. Now, let me just be honest and say that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that people don't get on our nerves. That doesn't mean that people in our church family don't aggravate us. Let's be honest. We're a family. How many of you have been to Thanksgiving and gotten aggravated with other family members or Christmas and gotten aggravated? I mean, it just it comes with being a part of a family. There are times in which we get on each other's nerves. There's times in which we, we aggravate one another. But that doesn't mean we stop loving one another. It doesn't mean that we always strive to put others first. Nowadays, especially in the United States, the typical uh, attitude of the church member is if someone makes me mad, then I'll just go and leave and find another church. We got so many churches around here, well, just find another one. And then when they make me mad, I'll go to another one. That's not always the case in a lot of places of the world where, where there's only one Christian church. You know what happens when there's only one Christian church? They are forced to love one another. They're forced to get along and to work through their issues. And that's what John is saying. If you belong to Christ, then there is evidence of love that you have for other believers. And I'll even add this. I think John is not only talking about love for other believers, but I think John is saying if you want to know whether you belong to Christ, you, you've got to have love for other believers, yes. But you must also love non-believers. You must love the lost. You must have a desire to want the lost to come to know Jesus Christ because if you've experienced God's love, then you automatically have a desire to want to share that love with other people. You should have a passion for loving the lost to the point where you want to tell them the good news, where you want to, to make sure they've heard the, the good news that Jesus died for their sins, that he rose from the grave, and he wants to give them life, eternal life. John says the first test of assurance is the test of love. Do I love other believers? Do I love the lost? There's a second test that he gives us. He continues in verse 6 in 2 John. He says, and this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, so that you should walk in it. John says, not only do we have the test of love, but we also have the test of lifestyle. We have the test of living a lifestyle in obedience to the commands of God. He says, this is love. That we walk according to his commands. If you look back over at 